This is a destination place for me. It is not a, a stop along the path. It is where I want to live. It's where I want to be. It's where I want to retire. This is, this is, this is home to me. Hugh Freeze said those words on December 5th, 2011 at his introductory press conference at Ole Miss. What transpired over the next five and a half years will be talked about, written about, for generations to come. The Freeze era began with an inauspicious win over Central Arkansas. It wasn't pretty. But it was a win, the first win for the Rebels in almost a year. The undermanned 2012 Rebels continued to scrap and finish the season 7-6 and six after beating Pittsburgh in the BBVA Compass Bowl in Birmingham. I knew it was possible. Um, it was a lot of little things last year holding us back. And Coach Freeze came in and fixed all those little things. I was very clear with our goal in year one, that was to play with passionate football for our great university. What happened next forever changed the trajectory of the Ole Miss football program. After much discussion and prayer, I have decided to attend the University of Ole Miss. Robert Kemdichie, Laquan Treadwell, and Laramie Tunsil headlined the star-studded class of 2013. Oh yeah, there was a guy named Evan Ingram in that class as well. There wasn't enough time for the faxes to cool off for the whispers to begin. How did they do this, the skeptics asked. Hugh Freeze maintained that he and his staff outworked, outcharmed, and plain outrecruited everyone. Freeze's high-level recruiting started to pay dividends in the fall of 2014. The upstart Rebels defeated Alabama and catapulted to number three in the rankings. The Crimson Tide would go on to win another SEC title, but Ole Miss was building a national brand. <laughs> A year later, Ole Miss defeated Alabama again. Yes, the Crimson Tide would go on to win another national championship, but Hugh Freeze was becoming a painful thorn in Nick Saban's side. The 2015 season ended with a convincing win over Oklahoma State in the Sugar Bowl. I'm excited about what we're building, and you know we've uh, our Ole Miss brand is very, very good right now nationally, and um, you know and. To come from uh, winless in the SEC in four years, standing on this stage tonight, uh, couldn't be happier for those seniors. Hugh Freeze took Ole Miss to the top tier of college football, but January 2016 was also the beginning of the end for Hugh Freeze. Later that month, the NCAA released its first notice of allegations against Ole Miss. Nine of the 13 allegations occurred under Hugh Freeze's watch. The Ole Miss football saga took a bizarre turn at the NFL draft in April. The draft was supposed to be a celebration and free commercial for Ole Miss football as Laramie Tunsil, Laquan Treadwell, and Robert Kemdichie were all expected expected to be drafted in the first round. They were, but the mood was soured when Laramie Tunsil's social media accounts were hacked right before the draft. That led to this incredible admission by Tunsil himself. So, was an exchange between you and your coach for money? I had to say yeah. Tunsil's admission reopened the NCAA investigation. They came back with another notice of allegations in February of this year, including the most serious of all, lack of institutional control. Meanwhile, Ole Miss stood behind its coach and planned to refute the lack of institutional control charge. But another bombshell was on the horizon. On July 13th, Freeze's predecessor, Houston Nutt, filed a civil suit against Ole Miss, alleging defamation of character. By the way, the suit was filed the day before Freeze and the Rebels were scheduled to appear at SEC Media Days. There were rumors that Freeze might skip Media Days, but he showed up to face the music. As we have all throughout the process, anything that's new or, or something that comes down the pike that we'll have to uh, we'll deal with, we'll, we'll sit down and regroup, meet with the administration and our legal team, and and handle the next uh, thing that comes. What came next was Hugh Freeze's abrupt resignation as head coach of the Ole Miss Rebels. Earlier this month, as, uh, as is reported, in response to a public record request, we released Coach Freeze's work-related phone records for six days in January of 2016. In our analysis, we discovered a pattern of conduct that is not consistent with our expectations. Earlier this afternoon, Chancellor Vitter and I met with Coach Freeze again. He offered his resignation and we accepted. He has taken responsibility and is accountable for his actions. 